If you were forced to get your news exclusively from the Toronto Red Star, you'd swear that the two biggest issues facing Canada today are racism and poverty. The Star is absolutely obsessed with racism and poverty. Systemic racism is everywhere, and those on the lower income spectrum are starving to death. That's 21st century Canada for you. The latest anti-poverty crusade from the Star focuses on how low-income Canadians are taking money out of their budgets for food, recreation, and rent to pay for high-speed internet service. Because when it comes to internet service, the progressive left feels that everyone is entitled to the high-speed varietal type and from the comfort of their own homes. Yes, home-based internet access is now looked upon as being a necessity, just like food and shelter and electricity. Seriously. The study, The Toronto Star Trumpets, comes courtesy of Acorn Canada, a national organization of low and moderate income families in nine cities across the country. Hey, forget about establishing a national affordable daycare program. That's so 1995. Rather, if you can believe it, Acorn is now calling on a, quote, national affordable home internet program. Paid for by, you guessed it, you, the milk cow taxpayer. As per usual, the star report is punctuated with a photograph of a sad single mother. This time it is Kashima Wright looking oh so forlorn as her bored six-year-old daughter, Nalise, yawns in the background. Not a single gigabyte of internet service to be found anywhere. You see, Wright had to give up her home internet last fall when the bills began topping $100 a month. hundred bucks? What was she downloading? Anyway, Wright and her daughter now have to gasp, walk to the local library in order to go online. Oh, the humanity. Wright is 25, by the way, which means she had her daughter when she was just 19. Was that really a good idea from a fiscal standpoint? Indeed, how about this as a whiz-bang concept? Refrain from bringing children into the world unless you have the financial means to support them. But really, how rude of me to even ponder such ideas as taking personal responsibility for one's actions. Oh, and by the way, let's not forget that Wright and her child are not being denied in internet access, as she admits. It is free at the local library, but you know, that would mean getting off the couch, walk in a block or two, can't have that. Which is why Acorn is now calling on the CRTC to mandate a $10 per month high-speed home internet product for families and individuals living below the poverty line. If such a scheme comes to fruition, do you think the likes of Bell and Rogers would subsidize discounted internet on their own? <laughs> nope. Once again, Canada's makers will be on the hook when it comes to providing non-necessities for Canada's takers. All that's missing is for the progressives to declare internet access as being a human right. Oh, what's that you say? A United Nations report actually made this claim some five years ago? Well, what do you know? In that case, I say in for a penny, in for a pound, folks. So how about we make BMW ownership a basic human right too? Put me down for an M6, the convertible model, if you don't mind. For the Rebel.media, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies.